There's Hi. people in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is my surrogate family, missing the male members of the family and missing one of the daughters. These are all brainiac women. <laughs> and this is Kristen, the mother. She, even though she's younger than me, I'm trying to get her to adopt me into this family because I love this family so much. I babysat for these beautiful girls. This is my youngest. This is Wynn. This is my eldest, Erin. And the middle child, Anna, is in California and not able to be here. And I affectionately refer to Kristen as the mother of my children. <laughs> Kristen is a retired brainiac doctor. She knows everything about everything. And she puts up with my <laughs> panic phone calls in the middle of the night with my <laughs> hypochondria. <laughs> Erin is a brainiac anesthesiologist in Virginia now, right? And Wynn is a brainiac that's what I was trying to think of the Speech title. What would be the title? Language pathologist. Speech language pathologist. And this, I've come out of my hiding in <laughs> Fort Collins to travel to Boulder to meet Winston. This is the firstborn of this family. <laughs> of this generation. He scared us all half to death by coming, what, 10 weeks early? <laughs> He's almost a year old. And uh, so I just wanted to say hi. Hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and hi, Anna in California. We'll catch you next time. Welcome to my studio this morning in Fort Collins, Colorado. I am raring to go. It's Monday morning. Um, I have a lot to do. I've been fooling around with gardening, um, so I'm trying to get my head back around painting this morning. So I'm um, getting going on this, and um, I'm glad for your company. <laughs>
if I haven't said it already. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful day. It's cooler. It's the weekend. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Uh, my ribs are healing. They're still painful, but they're manageable now. And so I am going to make some hay on Stanley's house because my plums are being stolen still. The squirrel grabs one every morning and sits up there on those uh, trusses up there. Uh, I really have the verticals to add two of them down there, like, like this one and this one. But I think I'm going to work on the end. I have to put one right here in the middle. And then I have to figure out some way to make a doorway. Whether you can see this. Um, this whole section is a doorway. Um, I have to put like a header across here and um, some kind of tall doorway because I have to be able to get my tall ladder in and out of there easily. So I figure maybe if I just work on this side and put wire up along those trusses because I have two 24 inch wire which is made to go on the 24 inch section so I can just make a strip of wire there, strip of wire there, and the vertical strips that are 36 inches on this side. And that side will still be open, but maybe it will foil the squirrels a little bit to have this side blocked off. So instead of trying to do the whole thing and get all those verticals up and all painted and start on the wire, I'm just gonna try to concentrate on this corner this end, ah, <laughs> nothing's going to stop them. <laughs> I, am, I am so delusional. If I knew all the projects that weren't going to work, that they weren't going to work before I started, I would never do anything. <laughs> but I have a vision of perfection. Before I'll die, I die, I'll have like one day of perfection in this garden where things are not molested or annihilated by insects. Not only do I have the grasshoppers eating everything, the, the wasps are <laughs> ruining all my fruit as well. Half the plums got holes in them and they're rotting because of the wasps. <laughs> I don't know how any commercial gardeners do it. And now I know why there's so many pesticides in the world, because people just don't... Ugh, it's exhausting trying to follow all these little bugs around. Okay, I gotta go. so much bending over <laughs> so <laughs> I can't
can't rush this work when I have to quit for the day. Didn't get nearly as much done as I hope, but I'll pick away at it. Just hope I get enough done before all the um, plums go away. <laughs> okay, I have decided that at both ends of Stanley's house, I'm going to make those sliding barn door things. So I'm trying to figure out what I can use. It doesn't cost anything or very little to make a sliding door. It's gonna be on that side, like going this way, sliding back and forth. Uh, so I have to get a bar across the top and some wheels. And lo and behold, my neighbor has been trying to get rid of these. This is part of a big canopy that she has that she doesn't want because it's retarded <laughs> and I don't blame her. But um, I could probably use these bars to go across and then I have to put some wheels on and I found these wheels in my shed, which I took off something and they got holes so I can run a, a bolt through that and um, it will roll against, roll along the top of this with pieces of wood on either side to hold it onto the, anyway, that's my scheme. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Come on. Keep me company on the roof. <laughs> Up you go. Come on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you gonna help me with the pots? Sit on. Shh. Stinker. <laughs> <laughs>